Hello, I'm Jessica Amir for the Finance News Network and joining us now from Catapult Group International is Executive Chairman Dr. Adir Schiffman. Adir, welcome to the network and congratulations on your results and your share price acceleration of late. Thanks Jess, my pleasure. Yeah, we're re really pleased with uh, our FY19 results. So first up, Adir, before we dive into your results, just start with an introduction to the company for those who are unfamiliar. Well, Catapult is a global business and the world leader in um, performance technology for sport. So we've got a range of different solutions. People might be familiar with our technology from uh, the devices that elite athletes across AFL, NRL, etc. wear while they play. Captures a heap of data, helps us uh, improve their performance, reduce injury. We've got a set of video solutions as well um, and, and other technologies that help uh, help teams uh, reach their full potential. And now to your FY19 or the financial year 2019 results. Just take us through some of the key highlights. Well, you know, this was a, a real transition year for us. It's the first year that we have uh, reported a positive group EBITDA, moved into EBITDA profitability. Um, and we went uh, from uh, a slight EBITDA loss to positive uh, $4.1 million EBITDA. So that's a $6 million improvement. And we also saw 24% growth in revenue and 24% growth in recurring revenue. So, you know, as I said, this is uh, accelerating growth across the company and a really positive result for us. And how do these results differ from past Catapult results? You've already alluded to this, but could you just expand on that? Catapult is predominantly today a subscription software business. 70% of our revenue comes from subscription software. Um, and these businesses, when they pass this inflection point of scalability, um, they become really profitable really quickly and, and generating free cash flow. And we are just at the beginning of that inflection point, passing into that scalability. And this EBITDA result is exactly the beginning of that, driven by you know rising um, growth in sales and falling growth in expenses. And we expect that to continue and that gap to continue to widen. And what are the drivers for accelerating revenue growth? And how have you also managed to slow growth in expenses? Well, the second question is easy to address. We've, we are passing through this inflection point of scalability. And that means that the heavy investment we've made in the past to get to this point, we don't need to continue that type of investment. And consequently, um, the, the level of growth in that expense line slows because it's not needed. That is exactly what you see with successful subscription software businesses. And we are mirroring um, you know, that well-worn path, which is fantastic. The revenue growth is, is an interesting story. Happily, we've seen revenue growth across the business. As I've said, it's driven by 24% growth in recurring revenue. Um, the wearables part of the business that I outlined, that grew 33% and we saw accelerating growth across that wearables business as well. And we also saw 14% growth in our, our video platform business and the real um, significant achievement of that video platform business is that traditionally our customers for that have been teams in North America. But we've launched a product called Catapult Vision that we continue to enhance and that has diversified our customer base to a more international team base and so we're in the early days of that but we've got high hopes for that product internationalizing the business and being applicable for more and more sports around the world. Now you touched on wearables doing well, could you just explain your wearable technology and how that differs to what's currently on offer in the market? So we're the global innovator, we literally invented this category of technology internationally and hold the patents to this category um, and what it does is it enables athletes to put on a piece of technology, it's a small device, they generally wear it um, inside a compression garment behind between their shoulder blades and it captures more than a thousand data points a second and that um, is streamed to our analytics platform called OpenField and various types of coaches use that information to help athletes perform at their best, to reduce um, injury, to speed up recovery from injury and when I speak about us being a global leader in this space, we work with almost 3,000 teams around the world as at the end of FY19, and that includes almost all of the NFL teams in the US, American football teams, all of the ice hockey teams in the US. We have league-wide deals with the AFL here in Australia, an aggregated league deal with the NRL in Australia, as well as the ARU rugby. So, you know, we, we are a, a, a business with 
lots and lots of teams working very closely with us around the world. The really exciting thing for us is the market has 10,000 elite teams, 180,000 athletes globally. So we're just at the very beginning of our journey here. You've absolutely tongue in cheek kicked a lot of goals indeed. But just lastly, before we let you go, is there anything else that you'd like to touch on today? You know, the board sees continued revenue growth in FY20 and continued reduction in expense growth. Um, we're completely committed to recurring revenue. It's a uh, high margin, it's growing rapidly. We've got very low churn of teams. So our churn fell from 8.4% to 5.2%. And um, you know that is what's gonna drive long-term value for shareholders. And we see a tremendous opportunity, not just to, um, to acquire teams that don't have any solution at the moment, but also to upsell to our existing teams who are not fully penetrated and to cross sell to more than 2,800 existing customers where those teams only use one product. And so um, we are heavily focused on doing that. We are confident of achieving this outlook and we are confident of bringing the business towards and through free cash flow positivity as well. Dr. Adir Schiffman, congratulations on the results and thanks for your time. Thanks, Jess. My pleasure.